my next guest is coming by way of Gadsden, South Carolina, Women Against Teen Abuse. And they have a fundraiser, which will feature actor Curtis Blake coming on Saturday, February 9th. And uh, this will help fund some of their initiatives. And I want to welcome the founder and CEO of this organization, Ms. Beverly Sims Morris. Welcome. Well, hello. Thank you, Ms. Coco. It is a pleasure. And Thank you. if you would uh, go right into telling us a little bit about your mm-hmm. mission, because okay. it is a powerful thing that you're doing for the teens. Yes. And so go ahead and give us your mission. Uh, our mission right now is to help the youth that are in trouble. Um, You know, there's so many young people, it's women against teen abuse, but actually we work with youth of all ages. Um, We work with youth from 5 to 18. Um, Our mission is to encourage, empower, and teach them that they are leaders. Um, They're going through so many phases today. We hear so much about bullying, um, suicide, not wanting to live or just going through the abuse in relationships. Even in elementary school, there's abuse in a relationship. Um, Our goal is to let the kids know that they are strong and they don't have to settle for less. Tell me how you got involved in this particular organization. What inspired you? Growing up, what is actually truly my life story? Um, growing up and being abused outside of the home, um, holding on to secrets and not knowing how to share my secrets, um, going off to a camp at eight, being molested, um, to go and be raped by a family member, um, to go into high school, be bullied and beaten um, by my first boyfriend in high school and becoming impregnated. Um, It's a lot. And my heart always said, when I get old enough, I'm going to help others. Because even in high school, I watch other young ladies go through what I went through. But no one, not even myself, said anything out of fear. And fear is what drives this. Yes. And it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Yes. And and uh, thank you for answering the call. Amen. Thank yes, you. Yes. Yes. You're putting together a fundraiser yes. that will help um, some of the initiatives that you have. But I want you to talk a little bit about some of the things that your organization does. OK. Um, well, you know, we're not the, the norm. Um, we have after school program with our youth. Uh, we do a lot of tutoring, again, mentoring uh, during the summer. We also are there with them full time. We're still educating just because it's summer. um, You know, I'm big on education. Uh, So we still we teach them. They still get their math, their English, their reading. Uh, We're teaching them cursive. Um, So many don't know how that are even in middle and high school that's still learning. So we do all those things over the summer. Um, Take them on trips. Um. Just again, you know, do things with them to encourage them, to show them that they are strong and there's more to life than what they see on television or even in their neighborhood or their surroundings. Right, right. And Mm -hmm. so coming up on Saturday, February 9th from 6 till 11 p.m., this fundraiser ball, an evening to dream again. Tell us about that theme. Um. You know, today, the children, I believe, don't even know what a dream is. Might be a nightmare. Maybe Might, that's all they know. That's all they know. Mm-hmm. So that, you know, was something that I've always, I feel that, you know, I feel that in my heart that we need to teach them to dream and let them know that they're not alone. Let them know that their voices are being heard and we're here to do something. So that's how um, I was came up with an evening to dream again. Wonderful. And we're going to be giving away a pair of tickets. Absolutely. Thank you for that. Yes. Thank you very much so for excited. that. So excited. Yes. And this event will feature actor Curtis Blake. Yes. Yes. And oh, my so, goodness. And we're going to be chatting with him in just a moment. But where yes. is it going to be? It's going to be at 111 uh, Maiden Lane in Lexington, South Carolina. Uh, that is at the new Municipal Conference Center that they have there. Super, super excited about the event. 
Uh, we have solid auctions. We're doing some phenomenal giveaways. Um, I'll sneak a peek on one of the auctions. Um, it's a two day getaway to Hilton Head with the Ooh. spa. Oh, nice. Sneaking oh, that nice, one in. nice, yes, nice. Yes, yes. Uh, entertainment. Entertainment, yes. We have um, a live band, um, Musical Solutions. Oh, my goodness. They are a phenomenal band. So we'll have a live band, uh, guest speakers. Super excited. Um, we have uh, Miss Catherine Evans, Dr. Jonna Harrell, and I will also be able to share my story. Um, And as well as being an author um, of my book, uh, Stormy Weather, Yet I Stand. All right. Yes. And I understand Curtis is online, too, now. So let's get that call here. Actor Curtis Blake joining us now from Tyler Perry's Diary of a Mad Black Woman. You might remember him in that role. It is great to have you on the program, Curtis. Thank you. It's a blessing being on it. Thank you so much. You know, um, we're looking forward to your performance coming up on Saturday, February 9th. And wanted you mm-hmm. to, uh, for those who may not know you, if you would please give us a little bit of uh, background history and, and, and tell us a little bit about what you have been doing since mm-hmm. uh, the Tyler Perry days. Okay. Well, you know, you probably know me. Uh, from the show, even before Tyler, um, Good Man is Hard to Find, Just Be a Man About It. You know, various sh- shows. Um, since Tyler, I've been, you know, just receiving a whole lot of blessings in a different side of life from a different uh, perspective. Uh, I've been uh, interacting and working with uh, with kids in the, uh, in the mental health and the uh, therapeutic uh, situations. And it's been an incredible experience, the things that I've learned about the kids and in this whole ordeal. And at the same time, I've been uh, doing a whole lot of writing, uh, a lot of processing, and uh, I'm ready to come back out and uh, and do some great things. Tell us how you um, came to know Beverly and participate with the Women Against Teen Abuse Initiative. Yes, well, I, I met her through uh, a young lady, uh, which is I call a, a a dear a dear friend and a sister to me, and I met her through her, and uh, we were introduced. And uh, it's funny that uh, you know the path that we take in life. Uh, when you think you're going in one direction, you know God will take us in another one. Uh, I never thought I would be in a, in a situation where I would be at a, in the field of actually helping kids and understanding, you know what what kids go through and in the whole ordeal. Uh, so uh, when we were introduced, uh, I heard the topic and, and what she was trying to do uh, in the sense of the uh, the kids bullying and all this type of stuff. And, you know, I was very much interested in, in being involved in that. You know, you know, God has blessed me and you speak of doing things that you never thought you would do. You know, and uh, I think in, in, 0, in 016, I received the uh, Lifetime Achievement Award through the Obama administration you know, for the things that I try to contribute for the kids. So it's, it's been a very, very interesting journey. <laughs> to say yes. the least. And she says that you have a very powerful story to tell. Share with our audience a little bit of background on your story. You speak of journeys. Uh, when the 9-11 hit and the play circuit basically kind of like disappeared in a sense, um, I was interested in, in uh, investing in uh, in group homes and, and things such as that, something that was, you know, going to help the kids and things. So to uh, make a long story short, uh, sometimes our plans are not what, what God has planned for us. Mm-hmm. And that was my my story. Um, when I went in to, uh, to look into the uh, program, basically, and, look, and to learn more about it, uh, the kids coming to the office, and it was like, wow, that's Curtis Blake, that's the actor guy. And, you know, the friend of mine that owned the company, he said, well, you might do really well at this. And so he was like, well, why don't you come into the company for about maybe about a, a month or so and, you know, get hands on. And I was like, okay, we'll do that. Well, you know, a month turned into, I think, about eight and a half years now. So, <laughs> like I said, it's been a, quite an experience, but I've continued to, to work on my craft. Uh, as a matter of fact, you know, through life's experiences, it has elevated my gifts and my talents. 
and I'm looking so much forward to coming back back out and uh, and letting you hear my story. Now you are um, performing at the evening to Dream Again Black and White fundraising ball. Tell us a little bit about what people can expect. I think from me they'll, they'll expect without giving anything away the truth about some things in the sense in the sense of why how kids are affected and you know why you know think kids go through the things of being uh, bullies and being bullied and in this whole ordeal. But I'll give anything away as I said before, I you know, I come from a, a theater, you know, background and I I, I got some, I got a you know, I got some some treats for you. So I'm I'm gonna make a delivery basically in a in a theatrical manner basically. All right. Curtis Blake, if anyone would like to have any more information or find you out on the web or find out what you're doing how can they get in touch with you? Curtis Blake, 2004, yahoo.com. All right. Again, the evening to dream again, black and white fundraising ball. Oh, by the way, let's give away some tickets. Um, yes. Let's see. Got a pair of tickets. I tell you what, they're going to have to email me and put WADA in awesome. the subject line. Okay. Awesome. And we'll do a drawing. Email me at Coco in the Metro at gmail.com. That's Coco in the Metro at gmail.com. And we'll pick a winner um, to win two pair of tickets. Absolutely. And please, I know that you're winning. This is a fundraiser. So we would like to give those away. But we still would like yes. you to come, even if you don't win the tickets. Okay. Yes. 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 Donations are also, Coco, um, if they can't attend, donations are always um, great to have. Nothing too small is never enough. Okay, and how do people get in touch with you? They can call me at 803-497-6537. We're cited. Tickets are $40. And if we need to deliver, we will do that as well. All right. All right. Thank you so much, Beverly, for joining us. Let's do a fist pump and then agree on it. Yes. Thank you. All right. Thank you.